All right, guys. So, y'all wanted me to do a breakdown of uh, of burned. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This actually got well. Okay, I sent this to uh, Chucky Beats like right when I posted it, and like immediately I got like a like from it. So I'm like, oh, he might have actually done it. And then turns out like if you go to his like recent video where he does the reactions, it was the last one he did. Sorry, I'm sick, but. He actually react, reacted to this and he actually liked it a lot, so okay, and the I'm next excited one, about last that, but... Beat for... yeah. Hey. Yeah. So yeah, he liked that shit, so I guess I'll do a breakdown of it. I actually didn't use any samples for this. All this shit was made by me, including the melody and everything. Um, so first off, you can see all these fucking automations. So first one, um, this is a low pass, which is the things that cut out the high end. It like it muffles and then comes back in. I don't know. That's what a low pass is. It's hard to explain it. Tempo. Uh, I started off making it like a slow tempo, and then I raised it up. It's kind of like this one downtime beat <coughs> that I was actually going for. If I go to my SoundCloud here, I actually have it liked. Um, I think it's called Selfish. Yeah, this one. I was basing it off this downtime beat because this shit's like hard as fuck. If you don't know who downtime is, go look at his shit because his beats are fucking amazing. But it's kind of like this one. Yeah, same same concept. Um, so I'll go ahead and start it. It's like this little melody. I cut out like the last part of the bar here. But it kind of just, it gets louder, it pans left and right, and it comes up, and it drops. So this melody is all it is. So, this, um, this VST I used, it's called Firebird. It's kind of shitty, but like what I, what I did was I just clicked a random a bunch of times until I found this one. And it's kind of a good one. Like, it's literally just like a sine wave, but it's got a bunch of effects on it. So I made like a quick melody of it. I did make this in like 20 minutes, like during a lunch break. Simple melody, and there's the second melody, which is the same VST. I just clicked <laughs> random again, and I got that one. And that's what this sounds like. I put like a little bit of delay and like a double hit right here. I don't know what that's called. I changed the melody a little bit at the end. Um, the kicks. The, I use this kick a lot. This this cosmic kick three. It's a really loud one. Um, here's the reverse kick. Simple for the reverse right before like the drop. Um, 808. Alright, so these 808s. This is the first 808 in his second drum kit. This one has a lot of like balance between left and right. Like it's it's very wide. And it, it hits a lot of areas. Like you can see it's, it sounds very distorted, which means you can hear it better and it just it sounds good, especially when you glide it. So here's the uh, the first. It's pretty simple, like. But pretty much the kicks, like there, there's nothing else, or not the kicks, the 808s. There's pretty much nothing else to them. Like it's kind of the same thing. Um, I didn't really change anything up. This one has like the crazier. Just shit, I'm sick as fuck, my bad. See? It's a very soft 808. But yeah. Um, I put two snares in them, I layered them together. First one, second one. Um, the hi hats. Oh, the, you can actually hardly hear these. It's just like a very subtle low hi hat. Then here's the main hi hats, which has a lot of like. It's very wide, has a lot of panning. 
and then the second uh melody for it. I don't know. Where, can you call out a melody? I don't know. It just had some rolls in it. And then here's the open hat. Um, here's a vox I put right on the drop. Um, here's that like little like water pouring thing. Oh no, that's the, the snare. Here's the water pouring thing. Um, but this is... You can actually barely hear that. Yeah, I don't even know why I put that there. Um, what is this? Oh, that's the little shaker thing. I never actually use that. It's still in the project for some reason. I never use this either. Which is also in the project for some reason. Here's the hit. As you can hear right here, I just slowed it down. There's my tag. <laughs> so how I slowed this down, um, I started off with like okay so i started off with the tempo being 53 i don't know why i started at 53 but 53 and then i had it, had it gradually raise with this until it hits the drop right here which it goes to 125 um and then this okay this is the panning thing this makes a pan left and right it's called tap auto panner i just put it at a certain level and i had like the auto panner cut out to right here so it's not panning anymore Basically, like right before the drop, everything gets like really lit, and then the drop. Here's for like this is an insane uh, reverb, like this this fucking plugin for reverb that comes with this. It like gives everything an insane amount of reverb. Like if I if I just start playing this. <laughs> So here, let me add one. I only put it on the melody. It's called Reverb SC, and this just adds an insane amount of reverb to anything. Yeah, I had that gradually fade out. Sorry if I'm like, I'm probably not explaining things very well. I'm pretty sick right now. Let me turn that back on. Um, amplifier, I just use that for like, the fade in and out. It's a little bit more accurate than the actual volume thing. Uh, what else? Pitch. I started the pitch off pretty low and had it gradually raise. No, I didn't. This is resetting it to the center. I did that right here. Oh, yeah. I just changed the pitch. I'm just thinking of the tempo. Yeah. I just had this in the beginning so the pitch would reset when you reset the song. So, yeah. I kind of just did that and then the other melody came in. Same, I just copied and pasted. Yeah. And then I had the. This is the. Low pass. Just a little short low pass. Um, actually, for the kicks, I put the uh, peak controller, which I do for pretty much every single one of my songs. Every time like the kick hits, it'll lower the volume of everything else, so the kick will punch through instead of clash. Uh, what else? I guess we'll get to the. the Everybody says this is gross beat, but it's not. I'm manually doing everything. So and right now you can, this is the, the reverb. I have the reverb gradually go down, not fade away completely, just have a lot less of it. And I uh, have the tempo go all the way down to, I believe, it's like 90 something, 92. So 90. It goes all the way down to 90. <clears throat> and then there's this 808 Mafia thing. Um, the kicks are the 808s are obviously a lot lower. It's the same. Uh, I keep saying kick 808 pattern. <sighs> but also, like the melody sounds different. As does this one. This is actually new. 
thing. I just hit random again and I got this nice airy, like, wavy thing. And at the end it just kind of, all the drums go up except for the airways. And the amplifier takes it down. That's pretty much it. This, this, this hits happen every now and then. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is probably a very shitty fucking breakdown, but whatever. Somebody wanted me to do it, so this is it. I did make this. Everything that I post, I've made. So, there we go. Thank you for watching.